everybody now knows the story of the small islands. Everybody, I mean, when I mean everybody, I mean everybody who is in a position to do something about it. The, the poor, uneducated villager in, in, in Africa just searching for water or firewood would not know about it. I mean, everybody who is in a position in government or industry to do something about climate change to help save us, they know exactly what is going to happen. It's not lack of knowledge anymore. The, climate ch the small island agenda is at the forefront in, in Bella Center, where the conference is being held. Everybody knows us. So they can't plead ignorance. It's just that, what is it that's stopping them doing what is necessary? Are we expendable? Because we are small. Yes, there are about there are some 38 sovereign nations within the Alliance of Small Island States, which is where we through which the, the organization through which we, we we are battling to save our countries. Yes, some of us, no bigger than 10,000 people, 12,000 in case of Seychelles, our population is 85,000. So we have numbers in terms of countries, not numbers in terms of populations, not power or might in terms of resources or money or political influence. Have some people taken a decision that we are expendable? Is it that it is cheaper to relocate us than to save us? Is it boils down just to money? But it's not a decision that's take, being taken with any feeling. That's how we feel. If everybody knows, why is it becoming even tougher for us? Our fight is becoming tougher. Copenhagen has not been a pleasant experience for us. I'm not just talking about the cold, where tropical island is and the cold is tough for us. I'm not talking about that. In the Bella Center, it's quite warm. It's just that the negotiations have been, so far, extremely disappointing. We are battered and bruised, but not broken. No process can break us. Climate change will. That will break the small islands, eventually, if we continue down the path that we are heading now. We still have a week to go. Um, we've heard all the nice speeches that you can think of, but nothing tangible has been delivered. As small, island, small island, islanders tend to smile a lot and laugh a lot and be very optimistic. I mean, where we are stuck out in the middle of the ocean with nowhere to run to, you have to be optimistic. So we're hoping against hope that uh, we'll get something in the week to come. Whether we'll get enough, frankly, I would not place any bets on it anymore.